I would like to offer a different view. It's one small step for machine, one giant leap for machine kind. IBM's newest artificial intelligence system took on experienced human debaters and won a live debate. Subsidizing space exploration is like investing in really good tires. It may not be fun to spend the extra money, but ultimately you know both you and everyone else on the road will be better off. Called Project Debater, the system scans hundreds of millions of articles and journals to develop its position on a topic, then it creates a narrative to support its argument. It has to be able to understand language in a way that will enable it to figure out what are arguments that support its stand of the debate. So we have developed a machine learning algorithm. It has neural networks, deep neural networks in it. It has other machine learning technologies in it. Project Debater took part in two debates, each consisting of an introduction, a four-minute rebuttal, and a concluding statement. And in the second debate, the Project Debater actually convinced 20% of people to change their minds in favor of it. The AI even predicted and rebutted arguments before the human opponent made them. They were learning what is the rationale behind how a debate is structured. How do you build an argument to make it persuasive? IBM's human computer challenges began in 1997 when Deep Blue beat world chess champion Garry Kasparov. And in 2011, IBM Watson won Jeopardy. But its researchers say Project Debater has applications beyond just winning debates, like in the legal and financial fields. What we are trying to develop is a demonstration of technology that has a lot of power to aid human beings to expand their mind to get better insights. Google is also hey. developing an AI Hello? called Duplex that conducts Hello. natural conversations Hi. on um, the phone. I'd like to reserve a table for Friday the 3rd. In San Francisco, Lexi Savides, CNET.com for CBS News. Allow me to respond to some of my opponent's most recent claims. I think that one of the claims made by Ms. Avadia was that people should choose how to spend their money. I would like to offer a different view. People should spend their hard-earned money as they please. But society has a duty to provide help to its people in need.